In this video, I would like to show you how to replace Volvo D13 engine uh, timing gear cover gasket. This is very common problem where the oil leak uh, on, on the D13 engine. So I'm going to show you how to use the tool to easily install the uh, timing gear cover and not to damage the gasket. So stay tuned, it's going to be very interesting. So we have a uh, we have an HCB tool. So this is how it's packet. So this tool required uh, to properly install a timing gear cover because if you not install it properly. Uh, you have a chances that it will leak again. We have uh, three pieces. Uh, on this tool. So everything pack it properly. Make sure that So to use this tool, you need two M8 uh, M8 uh, bolts. So they approximately like two two inches in the length. So those bolts not included uh, in the tool. So basically, so you need to install it on both sides and kind of like a press it uh, up until it's uh, kind of a press that uh, timing gear cover. But I'll show you how to use it. Uh, we are at the back of the engine. Uh, this is where the timing gear cover goes. So we need to prepare that spot, make sure everything is clean. So make sure everything is clean and then of course you can then you can safely install install the gasket I mean timing gear cover so and, and here also yeah, should be clean. Okay. All right. That's it. Now we can install. Let's clean this part as well. All right. Make sure the surface is, is clean and then you can safely install that gasket with no problem. All right, nothing there. What is this? Okay. So before putting gasket on, we need to apply some silicone. This is the time gear cover. <clears throat> Same thing here. Clean everything, make sure nothing obstruct the gasket and the surface is clean. So before installing gasket, you have to apply silicone so 
I'm using black RTV. Okay. So it's oil resistant. So there is not much torque on this. So the black one is 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 okay to use it on that. All right. <clears throat> now we are going to put that install the timing gear cover. Just try to just tie it a little bit. It don't have to be too hard. You can use a screwdriver just to line up the screws into the into the hole. Same here on the other side. So now we need to install the timing gear installing. This. So just to tie it a little bit, make sure this one is kind of loose. Now we are going to tie this one, this bolt. Okay, tie this. First, okay, and then this side as well, we need to tie it. So don't tie it all the way yet, all the way down yet. Now you have to install the rest of the bolts. Do not tie it all the way too hard yet. Just as soon as the bolt, the flange, touch the cover, so you need to stop because we need to push down that tool to make sure that, that the surface with the timing gear and the head is flash. Okay, same thing here. Okay. 
So total is a five poles. Okay. We need to tie this to make sure that I don't know if you can see, but it start pushing the timing gear. Make sure it's flash. So yeah, it looks like. It's flash here. So we need to tie this this knob and procedure make sure it's flash. Okay, that's good. Now you can tie it all bolts. So now you need to tie all the bolts to 18 foot pounds in kind of like a cross pattern. So we are going to start with this one. This one. Good. All right. So now we can dismount that tool from here and we will check it if everything is good. So the, the purpose for this tool, if you trying to install it without the tool, there is chances that you will not install that timing gear, timing, uh, timing gear cover properly and it will leak on the bottom again. But with this tool, it helps to install the timing gear cover properly and to be sure that So the, the surface here, 
and here has to be flashed. So if there is too much difference between block and the cover, so the chances that it will leak from here. So make sure this tool helps you to install it properly without, without any problem. That's it. This is how to use this uh, tool uh, uh, when you're installing the uh, timing gear cover. If you have questions, please write in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you next time.